Hello, welcome to WiseLink Academy. Today we're looking into ellipse, um, how to construct ellipse using the focal point method. Using what we call the focal point method, which is among the method of constructing an ellipse. Moment now, my first task is to read out the question as you can see the question below. Draw an ellipse with a major asix of 120 and a minor asix of what 80 millimeter by focal point method. By what focal point method? What do I do? My first task is to draw horizontal line this way. I'll draw horizontal line this way. As you can see, and I will draw a vertical line with the a of my what? My set square this way, t square rather, vertical line. So where it meets is at this point, right? So at that point, I know that I'm given two dimension, 120 and 40. For that 120, I'll measure half of 120. That's 60. As you can see, I'll operate at this point here. Strike an arc at this point. Similarly, come to this point and strike an arc. Where the arc meet, call it point A and what? And point B. Similarly, I will measure out what? 40. I'm giving this one, the second dimension is 80. So measure half of 80, that's 40. So at this point, take it up here. Strike an arc up. Take an arc down. Where they meet, I will call it um, C. This is my point C. My point what? My point D. So my next approach is that at point D, I extend it to point O. I call this middle point my point O. So extend it to point O this way. As you can see, at my point O, I see that I'll come to point C and cut an arc here. Similarly, cut an arc here. Where the arc meets, I'll call it here to be what? F1. And I'll call here to be what? F2. Right? F2. Now, my next task is to divide F1 and F2 into 8 equal parts. 8 equal parts. I can even use 10 equal parts. 6 equal parts is depending on you, your choice. So, I'll divide this line into 8 equal parts. If you don't know how to um, divide line, you can click on that link you are seeing in front of you. Or, you can check on the description below to check how to divide line. Right, so now I'll just do this for the um, purpose of teaching. I will come to my um, F1 this way. I will draw um, a line down this way, as you can see, an inclined line of my choice. So I'll take my compass, any radius of my choice, with any radius of my choice. I can even decide to use this, but it is not making sense because we're having just a small line, just reduce it. Um, this way just then cut into 12 80 equal parts one two three four five six seven and lastly i have eight right so my next approach is that with the help of my t square i will connect the last point here to my F2 this way. I haven't done this. I will hold it down this way, clip it down this way, and take it this way. Take my metal rule this way. Why am I doing this? I explained that in my previous video. So you can check um, my previous video, the way I explained it, or you look at um, the video on how to divide line. I explained the concept of this, placing this um, this way. Now I'll take it this way. Take it to this point this way right take it this way take it down this way sorry take it down this way it's not this time take it down make it sure it's straight take it down similarly it's with a faint line right with a faint line please but i'm just purposely drawing my own somehow tick so that you can see what i'm doing but initially, those lines are meant to be faint. 
all this line I meant to what faint line connect this to this connect this to this lastly is my last point so I have divided this line to what eight equal parts so my stack is to what name it this is my point one my point two three and four this is my point what three reduce it this is what ascending then what sorry this is um ascending on the right then what descend it this is three two one have this as you can see what we're having in front of you so my next approach now is that i will take my pin of compass listen to this um idea it's very simple take your pin to point one extend it to point a can you see that now after that after i consider that come to f1 strike an arc up and down this way right come to f2 same thing up right and down this way can you see that so after i've done that come to that same point one you know the first time is what to a now second time is what to b now extend it to b right at b come to f2 here call the arc come to f call the arc this way come to f1 2 call the arc come to f2 cut the arc where the arc meet i will take in it taking this point taking this point taking this point and what taking this point similarly what i did i will do to every every number say come to point two extend it to point a right so come to f1 strike an arc come to f1 this way strike an arc here so up here up and down come to um f2 up and what and down this way similarly i'll come to my point two i this a right take it to b this way right take it to b right at my point b i will what come to f1 call the arc come to this way call the arc f2 rather so take it to f1 call the arc take it down to call this arc here where they meet is at this point and at this um point this point here and this point here similarly come to point three do the same thing to point a take it to f1 right strike an arc this way all right similarly i will come to my f2 strike an arc this way strike an arc down this way right so i haven't done that come to point three no point three is to a then point three to what to b this way similarly come to f2 to cut the arc you can see it's not cutting i need to extend it down cut this one this is cutting similarly come to f1 right it's cutting f2 to cut f1 here's cutting at this point here's at this point here's meeting and here you see it's not meeting so i need to extend this line down so come back to point three to a right so come to um f1 then you get the arc for that one right so is it here you get this this man this man arc touches so i haven't done that i stop at point three point four is there already at this point so after i've done all this i'll take my french cuff this man this way i'll take it this way to connect um, those points together to connect those points together so if i do that i'll be having this this is my first one my first tax here similarly take it down this way <coughs> um this point here right i have to gauge it i have to gauge it to connect those points together right i have this connect those points together i have this so take it down this way connect these points to a such that you carry the three points along
take it this way I have this right similarly take it down this way take it down this way touching each other to this point so here is how to draw an ellipse using what we call focal point method if you have found this class helpful kindly click on the button and like thank you welcome to wise link academy